System.io just recently launched a new feature where you can directly integrate the platform itself to Google Sheet. Last time you need to use other software like Zapier or Publi, but now no need to directly use System.io and link it into your Google Sheet account. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that easily in the system itself. Before I begin, do subscribe to this channel so that you can use digital marketing to grow your business. Without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let me show you how you can integrate System.io with Google Sheet. Let's go. All right, so now I am at my computer and log into your System.io account. So this is the account. Go to the top right, click on your picture if there is. If it's not, just click on your profile. Click on settings and then you scroll all the way down. You should be able to see this Google Sheet integration. Just click on it and then you need to integrate your Google account click on this so integrate this account continue scroll down make sure to have this selected okay if not they cannot edit anything from the google sheet or from the google drive so they need to be able to add row and things like that so that's why you need to tick this and then click continue and boom it is active if you want to remove just remove if you want to integrate to more account just integrate just click integrate and integrate another account okay okay so once you integrate you need to set up an automation on how to have the google drive link into your funnel so what you do is you go to automations go to workflows click on create name the workflow i just put save you can activate or click on settings i just want to edit first so what is your first trigger so this is very similar with all the automation tools that you have used before whether it's zapier Publi, or whatsoever first of all just create your first trigger here the trigger will be funnel form subscribe because it's a form click on it and then click on the funnels i want to for example use this funnel free 14 days facebook ads trial click on this next just click on the form then click create and then it's here okay just in case it is not obvious before you go to do your workflow you need to have your landing page set up first or your funnel set up first i have a brief video show how you create a simple landing page using system.io on my previous video and then you can see i've created a simple funnel so it's a free 14 day Facebook ad trial and then after that there will be a form but for, I have not done the scheduling yet so this is just a thank you page uh, and it looks something like this so when they fill it up then I'll get the lead so the workflow is done for this funnel all right so that's for the landing page okay so we have the Google sheet with the landing page now we are creating the workflow already have this uh, trigger and next we want to create action so click on plus sign and action click on the select choose an action scroll down all the way you should be able to see add a new row to a Google sheet so currently it is a simple adding row to the Google Sheet. Not like, I mean, you use Zapier or Publi, you can search, you can replace, uh, you can delete and things like that. Uh, but this is enough. Cause it's just a very basic automation. Cause a lot of people actually get the leads and then put it into the Google Sheet. So that it is easier to be tracked. Everything you can see through Google Sheet. So that's why this, I have used this automation for many different landing pages as well. Uh, even from Facebook to Google Sheet and things. Like that. I also have another video on Facebook to Google Sheets. Okay. So I think for now, they just put this in as a good feature to have, but the rest all don't need Yet, if you want you can use Publi. I have a link below for Publi as well so you can just get the Publi account if you want to. So that is a pretty good alternative to Zapier. It's cheaper as well. Now just click on add a new row to a Google Sheet. For drives you can just click of course I connected this. Select a file. So I've created this Google Sheet. Just a simple one. First name, last name, email, phone number. Exactly what is here. And then I just click on this one. The form. Click. Select. Worksheet. So what's the worksheet name here? Sheet 1. Create. Sorry, not created yet. <laughs> There's the things I need to fill up here. So click on timestamp. Created at. Okay. First name. Okay. Surname or last name. Anyway, in Asia, the surname. I mean, for Chinese, the surname is in the front. So that's, that's the thing that is a bit weird. So for the Ang is my surname. Click on that email, phone number. And then you click on create. Tada! It's done. So it's created. Click on exit. Activate it. Now let's try. So let's go to the page itself. So this is the page. Let's fill up the details. Okay, so currently you see there's nothing here, right? Let's just click. Yes, I want my free trial. There. Yes, it appears straight away. So yeah, so this is so easy. It is again a very good feature to have. A lot of, like say, I work with a lot of businesses, they use this to track. So having this will reduce the use of third-party software like Zapier or Publi. But I think if you want more, of course, one more automation to be done, like what I mentioned just now, you can use like Publi, which is a cheaper alternative or Zapier. They're all in the links in the description box below. So this is how easily you can integrate system.io with Google Sheet. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.